We train speed during the aerobic phase. Why would we train speed during the easy aerobic phase? All right, so let's say it's uh, summer mileage time for your distance kids, all right? That's traditional in America, is that in the summer, they just do lots and lots of long, long, slow stuff, do all the aerobic based stuff. It's, it's not bad, it's just what they do. But they're doing the most slow stuff. Small ranges of motion, high volumes. So you have lots of repetitions, small ranges of motion. So if you do your speed during this time of the year, you're giving them an opportunity to open up. You're giving them an opportunity to stretch out. You're giving them an opportunity to load tissue. You know, think of your general preparation as not necessarily a time for slow things. Think of it as a period of extremes. You know, general preparation is not just about the real slow stuff, but it's also about the super fast stuff, you know? So what I'll do personally is maybe Monday evenings, they do a sprint training session, just like a true 100 meter sprinter would do, like any speed power person would do. Do it once a week, Monday evening. What do they do the rest of the week? Long, slow stuff, just like they have to do. Does that mean that they give up a little bit of mileage? Yeah, it does. They're not gonna accumulate any mileage on Monday evening, but a lot of people freak out because they think, oh, the speed is gonna produce injuries. No, the speed is an injury preventative because of the fact that you've opened them up, let them swing their arms, let them pick up their knees. The ranges of motion in the sprinting are big. Ranges of motion preserve the integrity of the tissues. They maintain tissue loading. I think you asked me a little while ago, which is healthier, fast paces or slow paces? Give them a little tiny dose of fast paces. 